We stood in lines and raised our right hands. And then all of a sudden, we weren't kids anymore. It's not that we grew up. We just knew we had to be different now. When they say repeat after me and you state your name, it sounds like a mess. A bunch of voices saying their names at the same time, all proud of who they are. By the end of the oath, you're one voice, all proud of what you share. The oath is our bond that brings all airmen together. We solemnly swore that we would support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Maybe a lot of us had never even read the Constitution, but that piece of paper we swore to defend spelled out everything America was capable of. The greatness that was yet to come. Freedoms, rights, powers, duties, responsibilities, that's what we were defending. And now, you've taken that oath. You swore to do what was required of you. What is required will be more than you thought you had. You will be given boundaries and borders, but you will also be shown horizons. Your duty is to achieve the impossible. Your orders are to conquer fears. Do things we couldn't dream of. Your orders are not to live up to some romantic idea of what we were or to drag our memory with you like a weight. Your orders are to let us carry you to places we couldn't find. Your duty is to your country. Your duty is to be an airman. The oath is not a limitation. It's a starting gun. You have not sworn to do what so many brave men and women have done before. You've sworn to do what no one has done before. Do not repeat after us. Do better. Aim high, airmen. <laughs>